This is pretty dumb. As for our first topic today, we're gonna go ahead and look over at Hololive's Mori Calliope, tweeting out a video announcing that in December, she is going to be releasing a full album. And this was some pretty exciting news. However, a lot of people were very upset with the ending of the video. Check it out, yo, okay? <laughs> And now a lot of people just called Mori Calliope a dork, thought it was cute, and just thought it was funny. However, the wrong audience ended up getting this video. As you can see here, the video has 794 quote retweets, and usually when something has that many quote retweets, it's pretty bad. With people saying, this is such an embarrassing video, how do you sleep at night? Others saying, one second into Mori Calliope's newest album. Others saying that this is rather racist, saying this is the most racist thing I've seen in months, and I played Destiny 2 with Raid Speedrunners. This gotta be racist. This feels racially charged. The caucasity. Others saying, how do you manage to appropriate two cultures at once? I'm sick. And we had people replying to that saying, you do know that Japanese rap is a thing, right? You also know that she moved to Japan in order to pursue a career in it, right? You also know that the Japanese company is the one who owns the model she is using, right? It's like people forget that. And this is the last one we're going to look at when it says, this quote person feels like what big corporations thought was hip and trendy in 2000s to appeal to kids personified as a VTuber. But Mori Calliope getting called racist is nothing really new to us. It happens almost daily with people constantly trying to cover corp to fire Mori Calliope for being a racist among some other things that just aren't true. Whenever Callie does absolutely anything, people try and jump on her and just attack her for no reason at all. It's just the aunties talking and nothing else. I completely understand if you dislike her music, everyone has their own taste in music, so it's not for everyone. Everyone. But to just make fun of the people that do enjoy it, call Callie racist among other things whenever she's just having fun is completely uncalled for. Callie continues to live in people's heads rent free and it's absolutely hilarious to me. Even if you love or hate Callie, it doesn't really matter because she's going to continue being successful no matter what. Obviously people like her music. But that's just my thoughts on the situation. I kind of just wanted to talk about it and I found those replies pretty funny to look at. It sucks that Callie has to deal with this type of hate a lot, but it doesn't seem like she lets it bother her. As it shouldn't, you shouldn't care what people that aren't aren't even going to give you a chance think anyways. Sorry to interrupt, I just wanted to say if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below to stay updated on the VTuber community. Speaking of Callie though, she did tweet out new original music video release, Camouflage, Your Mona Lisa Talks. And I'll leave a link to this in the description so you can go ahead and check out the full music video. It's a really great song and the visuals are great, so please go check it out. We also had Hololive officially tweeting out a collaboration with Slimefest on the 7th of August. So if you want to learn more about that, then I'll leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and check it out. We also had Lapless Darkness of Whole Alive releasing a cover of Kilmer, and I'll leave the link to that in the description as well. And some big news today, we had Whole Alive's very own idol girl Tokinosora reaching 1 million subscribers on YouTube. Huge congratulations to her, that is a massive milestone. We had people like Takanashi Kiara, Gargara, and even more congratulating her on reaching this. But we also had Vestia Zeta reaching 500,000 subscribers on YouTube as well. Huge Huge congratulations to her. Our next topic today is going to go ahead and bring us over to Nuxtaku, who tweeted out this comment has been showing up in comment sections all over YouTube. It's obviously a scam and not me. Please don't fall for this. YouTube needs to fix the bots in the comments already. This is embarrassing. And the comment uses Nuxtaku's picture and says, congratulations, you have been selected among the shortlisted winners for the ongoing PS5 giveaway. What's at the number above? And obviously this is a scam, someone trying to get your information to possibly dox you or even worse. Don't fall for it. Many YouTubers have been commenting on this because this is a really big problem. I even have a similar problem with bots in my comment section. It's really annoying. I do my best to remove them though. Another example of a YouTuber having the exact same issue is Afro Sinju saying, I've been seeing a lot of people mention this to me. A lot of channels get spam like this. Always make sure that any comment you see like that has check mark next to the name and even has a matching name to the creator. Usually you should just stay away from links in the comments. I personally, even if it was a YouTube link, would not click on a single link someone leaves in the comment section because even then they can probably still get some of your information just from a YouTube link. I personally try and do my best to remove any bots I see but I probably miss some. Next up though we had Anime Impulse tweeting out announcement here we go. All the details for Luxia meet and greets at Anime Impulse OC. Vox Akuma being the first up on the 1st of August and the other members are listed here as well. Tickets will be released on our site starting next week so I'll leave the link down below so you can go ahead and check this out. This is 
is what the meet and greet package includes for those of you that would like to purchase it. We also have some news coming out from Zentrea from V Shoujo tweeting out when July 30th, 1 p.m. CST, which is going to be a 3D model full debut on her Twitch channel, along with other announcements as well. So make sure you check in with her on the 30th of this month at 1 p.m. CST over on her Twitch channel for some announcements and her 3D model debut. That's all for me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you missed yesterday's news, please click the button to my left or right and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.